Welcome back again to my YouTube tutorials. In this video, we will talk about the second law of thermodynamics. According to the second law of thermodynamics, it simply states there that the state of entropy or the measure of disorder of the universe as an isolated system will always increase over time. So, by simply looking at this image, the second law of thermodynamics from hot, the heat flow, and turns are transformed into cold. We have the Kelvin Planck statement, which states that it's impossible to create a process that converts all the heat absorbed into work without releasing some heat to a colder reservoir. In other words, you can achieve 100% efficiency in a heat engine, which is actually true. So, in simpler terms, this, in this statement by the Kelvin Plum, collectively emphasized the idea that energy naturally tends to disperse and spread out, as yes, as what we have seen in this image. And it's difficult to reverse this process without external intervention. The second law of thermodynamics is a key reason why perpetual motion machines, machines that produces more energy than they consume, are impossible. And it plays a crucial role in understanding the direction of various physical and chemical processes. So for better understanding, let's solve problems regarding the second law of thermodynamics. A room, example number one, a room is heated with a 1,500 watts electric heater. How much power can be saved if the heat pump with a COP of 2.5 is used instead? So... We have to assume the heat pump has to deliver 1,500 watts as heating effect. So in order to solve this one, we have this equa given equation. COP is equal to the heating effect over the work input. So by putting all the values into our equation, we have 2.5 as our COP equals our heating effect which is 1500 wattage over our work input which is what we are going to solve so by using shift solve or the calculator we get the work input as 750 wattage 